What up fam, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to let you guys know that I got early access to the new MacBook Air. After playing with it for a couple days, I wanted to create a video that was more directed towards the daily commuter slash video creator. Throughout this video, I'll go over some of the perks of this laptop, the specs, and some lifestyle content. Also, just to let you know, I edited this whole video on this laptop. just left the library and we're currently on our way to grab a quick dinner and as you can see behind me it's super busy uh, New York is sort of like this like every day so apparently they just shut down the streets because there's a suspicious package um, and they blocked off the whole street we're trying to get some food right now Super hungry, just got out the gym. Jalen hasn't eaten it yet either, so yeah, pray for us. Alright, so just jumping straight into this, I'm going to briefly go over some of the package contents. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I was able to play with it for the past couple days, so I've already unboxed it. Alright, so inside the box, get the charger. And this is a 30 watt charger. Uh, you could also buy the larger, I think it's like an 85 watt charger, and use that to charge your laptop instead, and it'll charge it a little faster. Uh, this, in comparison to the bigger one actually looks like this so there's a little size comparison between the two and it also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cord and inside of here obviously are the MacBook stickers and this actually comes in rose gold FYI, this is the base model. So this is 128 gigabytes of uh, solid state and I believe it's eight gigabytes of RAM. So just opening it up, uh, first couple of things right off the bat, it doesn't have a touch bar. The MacBook Air series has never had a touch bar uh, in the past couple of years. And actually just coming from a laptop that does have a touch bar, uh, I didn't actually miss it at all. So one of the perks and something I've learned over these past couple of days just after using it is that it's super light. It's at about 2.75 pounds uh, in regards to weight. In comparison to my larger 15 inch laptop, I found this to be especially useful for the daily commuter. And I mentioned that earlier in the video um, that I'm a video creator and I actually had no problem creating this video uh, with this laptop and it's handling 4k footage which is coming off my sony and it's also handling footage that jalen helped me shoot so in regards to use like i would actually bring this laptop with me to the gym uh, so it's lighter on my back and i would use this laptop primarily for creating instagram stories creating um, video content and knocking out quick tasks such as like email and web browsing I personally feel like this laptop would be perfect for students entering into college who are taking a entry level film course or photography course. It has a third generation butterfly keyboard that's supposed to be quieter and I would find it useful in the library setting. Touch ID makes it easier to log in and the trackpad is 20% larger. Also the speakers have 25% more volume and there's two times more bass. And I almost forgot to mention that this has a brand new retina display. It is pretty unfortunate that there's only two USB-C ports, but in my experience after using it for the past couple of days, I actually don't feel like I need four ports. I feel like two ports are perfect, one to charge and one to transfer your footage. Something that I typically do when I am creating videos is depending on the size of your solid state drive, you could you could work on all the videos on your computer itself. Um, I would personally upgrade to the 512 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air, but because I was given the 128 gigabyte version, I mean, it actually works for like my one-off projects. For this video, for instance, I didn't have to use an external drive, which I typically use um, for bigger projects. I would use this Samsung one terabyte uh, USB-C drive, and this would just connect straight into the laptop. But I personally don't like having uh, 
hard drives hanging off my laptop when I'm out editing uh, because I just want to be able to open it, use it, close it, put it in my backpack, and then go. I've been editing a couple different formats such as 4K, 1080, and it's been running smoothly. And I've been, you know, editing videos while multitasking at the same time, which I know is pretty bad um, because it really knocks off my productivity. But I was browsing Safari using the Notes application and using Final Cut Pro, which was the first application I actually installed onto my laptop. Um, and I would highly encourage any up and coming uh, video creators or just content creators to download Final Cut Pro. Make the investment is $300. And I remember when I was buying Final Cut Pro when I was in college, I paid the $300 and I haven't had to pay anything else since. And Final Cut actually goes onto all my devices. So on my laptop, um, on this MacBook Air, and also uh, my 15 15 inch retina. So I've been editing on this laptop for the past couple of hours and I've noticed that I, like while working on this project, I've probably, I'm probably at like 50% and I'm probably like 50% finished with my actual project, uh, which is cool because it's a short video. So I hope this video helped you with your purchasing decision. I know there's, you know, especially when you're getting into college, there's a whole, there's so many like different options. Like, should I get, should I get the 13 inch? Should I get the 15 inch? Should I get the air? So this is priced at $11.99 starting off and for the base model. And I know for like college students, that's a huge factor, uh, especially when you're budgeting your financial aid check and loans and whatnot. So, I mean, I personally, I personally think it's a great product. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get back to editing this video.